My name is Scott Hamlin and this is my demo of Easy Animator Pro version 2.0 and I'm excited to show you the new features that have been added. Um, now I'm going to assume that you've already have some familiarity with Easy Animator Pro so I'm not going to be delving into what the whole program. Um, a lot of that is here inside of the advanced mode. We now have what we call an easy mode and uh, let me show you all about that. So I have a fun little animation going on here that's using one of the new animations. I'll come back to him in a little in a second here, but let me just show you one of my favorite features, one of the things that's most valuable here. That is the ability to do search. So we can now point to a folder on our hard drive. Now this is obviously designed for our Anabits, uh, but you can use any SVG image. And what we've done with our Anabits is we have, uh, this Anabits are basically animation templates that are SVG files. Um, we've a keyword named them, so it's easier to find them. So uh, you'll find this if you have any of the Anabit collections. I'm updating them now. Bear in mind that I, I need about another day to get those up and everything for you to download them. Uh, but I'll get those up as soon as I can. Uh, they'll be part of the download. So if you've purchased them, you just download them again um, on JVZoo. And uh, so you'll see here that uh, you know we've keyworded them. And uh, also what we've done is we've grouped them so they break apart more logically. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So say I need to do something in my video related to money. Maybe I'm telling people that they're going to make more money if they buy my product or something like that or, or something, whatever. And so then I can you know add that to the stage here. And you can see here that um, it's currently one object. But if I, I'm going to close this and go down to the break apart feature, and notice that what has happened is everything's grouped in kind of more logical groups. Instead of pieces of the card, of the credit card or whatever, it's all grouped together. Now, let me show you another cool thing. Here's, uh, I'm undoing, I'm, I'm doing the, the standard keyboard shortcut for undo because that's now supported in Easy Animator Pro. So uh, then uh, what I can do is I can go, I'm now I'm in easy mode here. Now I can go to advanced mode if I want to, but easy mode is designed to basically make it easy to click and just kind of randomly select animations until I find something I like. I really like that one. I'll go ahead and add it to the favorites even. And if I want to, I can just always, you know, just have it randomly select from my favorites, which I can grow over time. Um, I can add and delete stuff from my, pre my uh, presets also. I mean, delete a preset. So let's say I decide that I'm not really crazy about that one after all. I can go ahead and delete it and, and so forth. So this is a, this, and then, oh, let me show you down here. I can change the duration. So typically I'm animating to a sentence or so in my videos. And so, uh, you know, I can go ahead and put in, let's say it's, uh, I'm looking for 10.5 seconds. Well, I can enter in fractional numbers also. And uh, so there we go. I have, you know, I have 10.5 seconds when it adds these up together. I can adjust the state size to whatever I need to also. And uh, then go ahead and export and I have my video and then move on to the next segment of my video. So it's designed to be a lot faster and easier, but let me show you more of what's new. Uh, we also have these new animations that have been built in. Uh, I use the walk out feature. I walk in and out for, the, for that one. Let me show you what I did there. So I can come over here to the search. Once again, I can do search for auto and um, I can then go ahead and select this guy. And here's another new feature and come in and I can go to the properties tab with him selected and choose flip horizontal. So I have flipping and center on stage. It's already centered on stage. Um, and so that's pretty cool. And then I can go ahead and let's, let's adjust this one down a little bit. And I'm going to come back to the animations and do the walk out and I'll come, I'll have him leave and I'll have him come in using the walk out and I'll go ahead and turn off the pause so that he just drives straight from one side to the other. So a lot of fun stuff like that that you can do now with Easy Animator Pro and uh, I've tried to make it much more versatile to be able to do stuff like I'm showing you right here. If I run into something like this that I wanna do, I wanted you to have the versatility to do it so you can drill into the advanced mode to do that. Um, real quick, we have a center on stage. We have the ability to color objects. Now, uh, this one is something that's kind of uh, cool and, and different because one of the things that you need to be aware of is that the color on stage, I'm gonna go ahead and, and um, show you some. This is a, one of the new uh, Anabits uh, collections that I'm, I'm working on right now and I'll be releasing this soon. I'm offering this as a free bonus 
for Digi Products Animators, which um, I'll go ahead and click a, link, click a link on this so you can preview this uh, upcoming product here. But um, I can break this apart and I can change the text if I want to, but one of the neat things about this is that I can go ahead and select, I just selected just that box. And then I can come over here and I can change the color to something else if I want to. So um, the, this is a feature that you really only want to use with um, a single color SVG image, but it's there now and you can uh, allows you to adjust things. Now you can break things apart to the point where they're only a single image, by the way. Um, but once I do this, then I can come in. Now see here, I'm working on these right here. These are box maker and these are gonna be um, groups, preset groups. And they'll actually show up over here once they're finished. I'll, I'll make some more. And when you grab this product here, and you'll be able to import the preset groups and they work specifically for something like this. So here, let me show you an example. So if I apply that, I can do something like that quickly and easily and create sort of lower thirds um, or, you know, kind of uh, titles and that kind of thing. You see these kinds of things, very popular in videos these days. You can overlay these by using the, exp the QuickTime MOV export and then overlaying them with a uh, compositing tool that supports QuickTime MOV with transparency. So lots of stuff here. Um, the the let's see, we have the the the, the we have this uh, the animation effects tool, and we did add the ability to. Um, let's go ahead and let me see. You have to be where do I, there we go. And um, I'm going to go ahead and, and select one of them and add it to the stage. And when I uh, select it, notice now that I have the ability to adjust the timing of it, and I can adjust the layer. I can have it. I could have had that play on top or below, but now I can have it you know, play after everything is done. I can adjust that however I want. I can say I wanted to do it halfway, half a second into it. And uh, so lots of stuff that, oops, I meant to do, I have to go 0 0.5 by the way, in order for that to work. And um, let's adjust the color to something that matches the design better. And there you go. So we can do all kinds of stuff like that. And another cool thing that I can do with that is I can size that to be bigger. Um, so there really is a ton of possibilities with Easy Animator Pro, um, and we've really tried to make it far more versatile. I'm I probably am leaving leaving out a feature or two here that we've added, um, and but uh, I think you get the idea. A lot of a lot of power now in Easy Animator Pro to create uh, videos fast. And this, the, my favorite thing again is a search and the easy mode, which really allows you to make stuff quickly and easily and then you know if you're going to dive into the advanced mode you really often are only going to need to do it just for minor adjustments instead of doing the whole thing uh, from the start using all the features here in all the different um, animation possibilities but now there's there's uh, a ton of animations here in the easy an uh, the in and out and we have a lot in the uh, pause animations you can turn it off you can apply multiple settings to, uh, like if I click on state, I can apply uh, a duration or any one of these to all of these uh, at once. Um, so, and uh, you can do that also in here. So there's just a lot now that you can do uh, either quickly and easily. Oh, I wanted to point out one more thing. Here is a, also another feature. We have the, uh, I can delay this. And you can see here that if I play this now, these things will kind of come one at a time and I can invert, I can change the direction so I can have, I can change when they come in. So uh, basically it's either um, top first or bottom first is what's kind of going on here. And it's, it might be a little bit easier for me to show you that with a different animation. So let's quickly do that. So I'm going to come in here and let's select, um, how about that? And if I break that apart, there and then I do my delays and it's taken me just a second to do that sorry now if I animate this you'll see that oops I, I actually I need an animation don't I let's go into easy mode here and animate that there we go so you can see here that the lights kind of came in first so let me stop that and invert that and then you'll see that instead the base comes in first and that's what the invert mode does. So, so anyways, there you go. Lots of things, lots of fun with the Easy Animator Pro. I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough, and I look forward to seeing the cool things that you guys are going to make with Easy Animator Pro version two.